That's right, boys. Welcome to the side of the ring because it's time for some ringside rumors. On Wrestling Observer Live recently, Brian Alvarez said the CM Punk and Elite camps are mostly on the same page regarding the, the post All Up Brawl. Quote, the Punk side has backed off the kicking door down thing. Really, the only disagreement at this point is when is were the Bucks aggressive? Punk side admitted he threw the first punch. The only disagreement is was he actually in, oh, the, the only disagreement is was he actually in fear for his safety or did he just start punching? I think it's a little bit of both. And also, no shit he's backing down on it because that fucking idiot knows that he's wrong he knows that it's coming out more and more that he is not actually telling the truth and he's bending it just a little bit and if and i said this before i remember saying this before punk hopefully you're telling the fucking truth because if it comes out that you're lying you're gonna look like a fucking idiot so now now all of a sudden he's slowly backing down on the kicking the door down thing yeah i wonder why it's almost as if people know that you're talking a bunch of bullshit and if it comes out that you fabricated the whole thing it's not going to put you in the best of life so obviously obviously you're not going to tell the truth or obviously you're going to like not tell the truth and then go all right maybe i didn't do the app choreo yeah 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 of course you didn't fucking do it uh, was he actually in fear for his safety or did he just start punching? Both. Absolutely both. He assumed that they were going to come in. There. He probably, he probably ruminated, right? He's probably in there hot, off adrenaline. He's probably tired. He's probably in some, he's in a mood. He's in a mood and he, he probably hears them coming or something and they open the door and he just thinks, oh, that's it. Here we go. And he just starts punching. So I think it was a bit of both. Discussing Wade Keller of PW Torch's claim that everything is pointing in the direction of AEW buying a punk contract, Alvarez said, Alvarez stated, quote, I don't expect to see CM Punk and AEW again. Well, I don't, I don't know. Nobody expects to see him in AEW again. I, I, listen to me, I said this weeks ago. If Punk gets fired from AEW, that's it. That is the end of CM Punk. That's the end of him. You're never going to see him again in a wrestling ring for the rest of your fucking life. That's the end of it. Because he burnt the bridge with WWE, and then he fucked it up with AEW. Now the only place he's got, now the only place that's left he's got to go is Impact, NJPW, and um, uh, Ring of Honor. And I highly fucking doubt that all three of those guys, especially after the bullshit he stirred up, I highly fucking doubt they're going to take him. I highly doubt it. That is the, if he gets fired, that's it. That is it. We are not going to see CM Punk again for this foreseeable future, like ever again. He may crop up in a couple uh, announcer roles, or he might, you know, be here and there and everywhere. But, bruh, after this, man, no, no, that's it for him. And you know what? Good fucking riddance, man. Because if this is how you're going to fucking conduct yourself in a professional setting, if this is how you are going to act as an adult, then I'm not putting you on my roster. I'm not booking you for any matches. I'm not asking you to come out to this indie show because you're just going to turn into a dickhead. And it's only, it's not even, oh, is he going to? No, it's when. When is Punk going to show his true colors and show everybody how much of a shithead he is? Next, Roman Reigns wrestled AJ Styles on his house show appearance in Vancouver last weekend. And there's speculation from WrestlingNews.co and others that means Styles could be in line for a feud with the undisputed WWE Universal Champion soon. So, I kind of assume that. Because here's the deal about house shows. You know how comedians will go to, like, really, like, small dive bars? Or they'll go to, like, some, like, uh, laugh... laugh building yeah like like small comedy shows small comedy buildings and stuff like that i don't i don't want to i want to call it a comedy shop but that doesn't make any sense so you know so they're what they're doing right is they're trying out their material to a smaller audience and they're seeing how the smaller audience reacts to the material that they're using and if the smaller audience gets if they get a laugh out of the smaller audience they go great 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 and then they take it to another show and then they so they tell the same joke again and if it gets less laughs maybe they tweak the 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 which of who's it's a bit maybe they don't even say the the entire joke verbatim maybe they like maybe they say it in a different way they they add a few different inflections to some of the words and maybe they move around the stage this time all of this right the house shows and who's wrestling and why they're wrestling it's all an experiment that's what i've noticed that these house shows are it's all an experiment are these guys cheering for this person okay let's put them on uh the main roster are they booing for this person yes do we want them 
person to boo. Yes, okay, good. So put them at this roster. All right, let's team this person up with this person. How did they do in the ring? They did pretty well. How did the crowd receive them? Pretty well. All right, they're officially a tag team. Like, that's pretty much how it's going. Um... If you remember, uh, I think it was like last. I think it was like last episode or a couple of episodes ago, where um, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler were teaming up, and they were at a couple of house shows. Like they're doing, you know, they're they're essentially like dipping their toes in and going, okay, how, how's that? Is that good? All right, that's good. All right, good, 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 good. So, they're. Uh, I I I'm not really surprised that this is what they're doing. Which, if anything, if you saw last night's Raw, which was really good, by the way. Um. They are putting AJ in a storyline, which I, okay, I don't want to assume that this means that he's going to be, I don't want to assume that, like, this is the stepping stone to go to the feud with, with Roman Reigns, but if that was the case, it makes a lot of sense. It makes sense to put AJ on TV, get him in a storyline, so that way when he does end up feuding with Roman, it isn't like this out of the blue scenario type deal, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, you know what I mean? Um, next, as, as he did with Malachi Black, Wrestling Observer Radio's Dave Meltzer said, Buddy Matthews obviously wants to go back to WWE, but has a lot of time left on his AEW contract. Well, according to Tony Khan, that means jack shit, okay? That doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Tony Khan is keeping you right where the fuck he wants you. And I talked about this in the, the turnbuckle, in the last episode of the turnbuckle, and I said that that's not good. I said that that is probably not going to bode well for Tony Khan in the future if he's sitting here holding his fucking wrestlers hostage like fucking, uh, who's he, well, like Vince McMahon used to do when he didn't want, uh, his talent going over to WCW or any other wrestling promotion, and especially when AEW was around. I don't think this is good. Tony Khan already has a bloated roster as it is, so I really think that this is not, this, this isn't good on his part. I really think that holding them hot, I mean, okay, he's not really holding them hostage. They have a, a consensual contract, right? It's not as if he's just a surprise not here for, for forever, you bitch, I've got you. Like, I, that's not the case. They already signed, like, a multi-year contract, which makes sense, but it's just the fact that, it sound from the from the sounds of it, it sounds like Tony Khan is like no one's like he fucking threw a goddamn pipe in front of the doors and no one's leaving. He's like, all right, Tony, let's let's relax, let's calm it down a little bit. All right, geez, Louise, you know. So, I yeah yeah man, I mean, there's not really not much else I could say after that because Buddy Matthews can't really go anywhere and neither can you know Malachi Black. So I guess we have to wait and see what happens. Next, Fightful Select shot down last week's rumor about Bobby Fish trying to get Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly to return to WWE. In fact, their WWE sources say the company hasn't even had talks with Fish. Um, did I say, did I speak on this? I think I did. I forget what I said. I genuinely do not remember if I even said anything about this. If I said anything like a negative, you know what, man? You know what? I'm glad that we're talking about this. I really am. I I probably ruffled some feathers yesterday when I talked about Bobby Fish and I said, oh, who cares that he's in the impact zone? Listen, 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 listen to me. OK, listen, I apologize for what I said about impact wrestling because I don't want to sit here and talk shit about impact wrestling. I don't think that that's fair. I think that impact wrestling is doing what they can with what they've got. Okay, I don't think that it's fair to sit here and, 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 and talk shit about a promotion that is still around. I mean, you can say whatever you want. You can talk about their low viewer count and, you know, uh, their lack of like star power and all that. But the, the least you can say is that they're still here. They're still doing shows. They still are at least like in the realm of being able to have shock debuts like W. Morrissey and Bobby Fish and, and all that sort of stuff, right? I And I also, I'm not coming at Bobby Fish as a person. I think it's, what really got me was the fact that he was like, I'm a lightning rod for controversy, with controversy which isn't fucking true, right? That's not true. And if it is true, I still to this fucking day have no goddamn idea what he's talking about. I assumed, now I just want to go ahead and say, I will never come out and say, this is what I think, and therefore I think it's the truth, right? I will always say, oh, I assume this and I assume that, and I will happily, happily, do you, under, do you understand what I'm saying to you? I will happily be wrong, happily. I want to be wrong. That's the point. That's the whole point of this entire thing. I don't want to be right. 
That's why I say, oh, I assume, or this sounds like this is what's happening. But if I'm wrong, good. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why. What? Ain't nothing. Anyway, I didn't even start that properly. So, listen. Bobby, Bobby Fish could go on there and fucking, and, and bring Impact Wrestling into the stratosphere. Right? We have no idea. We have no fucking idea. Bobby Fish could go on there and be the next Impact World Champion, and he could get so many views that it does better than WWE and AEW combined. We don't know. And I know some of you are thinking to yourself, ha, like that'll ever happen, but we don't know. And I'll happily be wrong about that. The point I'm trying to make is that just because it's Bobby Fish and just because it's Impact Wrestling doesn't mean that, like, nothing significant is going to come from it. I think the... I think the 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 issue is that it's just Bobby Fish. If it was Undisputed Era, we'd be singing a different tune. But it's the fact that it's just Bobby Fish, and it just so happens to be on a not as viewed show as Impact Wrestling. I think that those two ingredients make a very lukewarm, uh, slightly out of date soup. Does it? It does. Is it? Is it harmful for you to eat? No. But when you taste it, do you? Do you got a, you got a, a little a couple and then take another sip just to be sure and then you're like okay I've confirmed that I don't like this yes listen fish is allowed to do whatever he wants whenever he wants with whoever he wants I'm not his dad I'm not his brother I'm not about to sit here and go oh fuck you Bobby Fish like no man unless you come out and do something shitty or you say something shitty I have no qualms with you whatsoever I just think that you being on impact and you being by yourself, it doesn't really like make for a good combination of of a a a a, a significant news topic. But it is a significant news topic because Bobby Fish is on impact. And that is significant in its own right. My argument is I just feel as though if you look at the it's the it's the it's the the fucking picture of him on the turnbuckle and he's got that smug look on his face like yeah okay are you are you all paying do I have your attention now no you don't no you don't all right finally speaking of fish per w insider oh per p oh, jesus per pw insider he hasn't signed with impact yet but he but did film segments backstage in addition to his debut at victory road and is scheduled for bound for glory next month so i asked about this yesterday if he didn't sign then why is he there Fi if soraya fucking does that i'm gonna lose my mind why did you come here then why did you come here if you're not even signed then that means that you don't even, that means that you could literally just leave. You literally, you could just never show up again if you really wanted to. Okay, but, okay, he filmed segments backstage. So I guess that means that he, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. My first thought is, all right, he's going to try and form a stable of some kind. But I hope he doesn't. I think Bobby Fish really needs to fucking cement himself as a single star, a singles competitor, and he needs to break off from that whole thought process of, oh, he needs the Undisputed Era. He needs a tag team. He needs Red Dragon. He needs Adam Cole. Like, no. Let Bobby Fish build his character up as a solo act, so that way, if he does go with a tag team, it's like, oh, shit, Bobby Fish is teaming with this guy. But that's just me, okay? That's, that's, that's just me. What do we talk about? Punk uh, backed off on the kicking down the door thing, obviously. Uh, was he actually in fear for his safety, or did he just start punching? I'm going to go ahead and say it was both. Everything is pointing in the direction of AEW buying out Punk's contract. I don't expect to see CM Punk and AEW again. I tell you, um, mark my fucking words. Mark my words right now. If you're listening to this, mark my fucking words. If CM Punk gets fired from AEW, that is the last time we're going to see him. That is the last time. We are never going to see CM Punk in a wrestling ring ever again. Mark my fucking words. Roman Reigns wrestled AJ Styles on a house show, which means he might be in line for a feud with the Undisputed Champion soon, which makes sense. That's why they did it on the house show, because they want to test the waters and see how people react. Uh, Buddy Matthews obviously wants to go back to WWE, but he has a lot of time left on his contract. Like I said, the contract was already signed for a multi-year deal, so it's not like, it's not new news, right, that he's not really going to be able to go anywhere anytime soon. Uh, Bobby Fish trying to get Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly to return to WWE is apparently not true. Um, I never assumed it was true. I assumed it was true because I read it and I'm a fucking goldfish between the ears. So whenever I read, but now, but now it's like, well, if I read anything, now I can't assume anything's true. So who do I trust? 
I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, Bobby Fish has apparently, so he's not signed with Impact, but he did film segments backstage. And in addition to his Victory Road and his schedule for Bound for Glory next month. So he's scheduled and he filmed segments. So I'm pretty sure he's signed. He just hasn't really like confirmed it yet, but that sounds like that's the direction that they're going in. Folks, thank you again for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one.